welcome back to another video. Now, to start today's video, we're going to see what these chickens are saying because I've always been killing them in the intros. I've never really spoken to one. So what's this one? Don't subscribe. Wait, what? What about this one over here? Don't? Why are they all saying to not... This is why they deserve to die. You need to subscribe. You just want me to suffer, don't you? But Joel, didn't you name all these chickens yourself just for this intro? Let's start the video. Welcome back to X-Life. We're here in Jeremyville, our humble beginnings. Oh man, so many memories in this place. Oh, it's lovely. I haven't actually checked anything in a while. I bet we've got quite a lot of carrots and potatoes down here. Yeah, yeah, that looks like it's overflowing. Good, good. But I'm starting today's video in Jeremyville for a reason. This here, this path is where it all began. And when I say it, I mean Jeremyism. Today, I want to build something that will challenge my fellow ex-lifers. Something where if they fail, they will die and lose a life. But the problem is, to get someone to enter a building like that, you need a good prize. And everyone on the ex-life server is pretty rich. They don't need diamonds, emeralds, totems of undying, anything really. The only thing we value is our lives. But there's one thing I value more than my life. And today, we may lose it. And that thing is Jeremyism. That's right. I'm going to make a house of pain and if you can beat it, I will hand over the rights to be the leader of Jeremyism. And they can do with it what they please. It's very risky, I know. But you gotta do what you gotta do for the content these days. Now the reason I came up with this idea, right, is because I've built all this stuff and nobody ever really comes over to my area apart from Lizzie, so nobody gets to see it really, do they? Like all this beautiful area, the mega base up there, look, look at it towering over us there. So if I can build this house of pain and gain, because you may gain a religion, over here, then people might come and actually, you know, have a look around and be like, oh, look how lovely this area is. Joel's a really good builder and stuff like that. I, I, I need compliments in my life. So this area here, right, seems like the perfect place because it's kind of messy at the moment because I just use it to farm podsill, bamboo and spruce trees so we could neaten it up a little bit and have like a house here maybe like a little entrance and stuff heading on over so that's what we're gonna do we need to start off by clearing out this area and making space i might do that first and do a bit of terraforming etc make it look all nice also it's kind of sad coming into my old house and looking at it now isn't it the good times we had here but let's start off with something i feel like i haven't done in a while and that is an X-Life time lapse. Take it away, lazy beans, you cheeky guy, you. This relationship I'm developing with my second account is becoming a bit weird now, but you can see me clearing up all that ugly puzzle there, doing a bit of like, you know, shaping of the grass as well. I was originally gonna make it completely flat, but instead I sort of went for this little layered system here, as I thought it looked a little bit nicer. And we also did a little bit of terraforming here as well, adding in some hanging dirt and some stone. Wow, that looks mega different. Holy moly, I can't believe how ugly that was before, but now it's a lot better looking. We've even done a bit of terraforming at the back there. I didn't want to waste my time terraforming this though, it's just a bit pointless really. But I think this house is going to go right here. So you get a nice view of the base in the background. Oh, lovely. And I've got an idea to try and like add some like maybe overgrown trees or something. Or some sort of like spikes to make it look scary coming into here. I'm going to try and decorate the outside. Anyway, now I'm going to do something I never really do on X-Life. Go to the nether, as I need some basalt. And I think you find it in the... Yep, there it is. Yoink all this. Oh, that's why I don't come to the nether. Might grab some nether rack while we're here as well. Just mine everything. Let's just spin around in a circle mining. All right, well, that was fun. Let's go back. And that's our nether trip for the day. But we're actually going to use these to make some Basalt spalafions. That's how you pronounce that word in case you were wondering. As these are quite good for spikes. Unfortunately, they only go up or down. But I want to make the approach here look a bit evil. So I think this will do nicely. Since when did I have so much spruce wood? Oh, it's because I used it for Lizzie's tree. I remember now. I think what we're going to do is, funnily enough, bring back some of the podzil along with some never rack here. I've just changed all this to grass. To be honest, I might change a lot of it just back from grass now. Well, I, I probably should have thought this through. Oh well, we want to make it look sort of not nice. Not nice. As a is going to be pretty hideous here. As people are probably going to die here. We want to warn them that this is 
definitely a serious thing. Let's go with like this sort of look here. And we can add in some like, you know, spruce trees that are sort of got no leaves and stuff in. Why can I never do things easy? I always have to go all out. There's something wrong with me. This is probably going to take a while. Why did I bother filling it all with grass? I'm an idiot. I'm tempted to time lapse this, but we're going to be doing a lot of time lapses if I do. So instead, let me just quickly work on some bits. And if there's anything interesting, I'll show you. Added this big tree in. That, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? I added in a small tree as well. I'm now adding in some black flowers to show that this place sucks. Not that I'm saying the black flowers Lizzie's designed suck, by the way. No, they're good. It's just, you know, it, dark and dingy and stuff. I think the flowers look really pretty. But look at that. Ooh, that's looking spooky for an entrance. Yes, in we go. Oh, yes. Now what we have to do is start working out how big this house is going to be. And I think I'm going to make it quite big. All right, so we're going to build this room by room and then build a shell of a house over it afterwards because I don't know how big the redstone needs to be, etc. We're going to be using a lot of wallpaper blocks because, you know, they're, they're easy and cheap to use. So let's start off by building a little entrance hall. So I'm going to put a little plant here, then I'll put what's going to go on and a little picture here. So a very small little entrance room as we want to use the most of the house for the actual danger stuff. We're going to put the rules on here and get people to deposit everything they have on them in here because there's going to be no armor allowed in this place. So you're going to have to head down a little corridor here where this is the point of no return. You press this button and you come into this room here and this room is where the redstone starts to happen. So we're going to need some lava as yet. If you fail this, you will die. It, it's pretty much confirmed. Lovely. Now we can put our floor back on it. But we're going to need some pistons. And the basic idea is these pistons are going to pull out the floor. Let me quickly set up all the redstone and I'll show you. So now if I put a lever here and pull it, look at that. It opens up. Close it. Voila. However, we need another lever for the correct answer, which is going to go here. Here. So now we have this one and we have this one. Perfect. And I haven't set it up yet, but the question's going to be, what is the second commandment of Jeremyism? There'll be a wrong and a right answer, of course. But we're going to move on to our third room now, which is going to be pretty similar because I'm going to test people in parts. First, starting with knowledge and then moving on to strength, accuracy, that sort of thing. If they're going to take over Jeremyism, they need to pass the test. So room number three is another question one, of course. And this one is going to be a different way to kill you. This one, a dispenser, which is going to have some potions of withering in them, which should kill whoever has it. I'm pretty sure. I'm not entirely sure, though. But either way, this is the one that will give you the wrong one. Instead, it's just placed this slab here because I put a slab in it. But it will drop a potion out of here. I just need to make them first. But this is where things change slightly. So you'll go through this little corridor here to a little room where it'll say, well done, you completed the wisdom test. Now to test your strength or blah, blah, blah. Then we'll head in here. And this pressure plate here will set off a dispenser, which will give you poison, putting you down to half a heart. And then we've got to have a little bit of simple parkour, but only a little bit. Don't worry, because parkour is kind of boring, I know. But the thing is, you're going to be on half a heart, so the fall only needs to be about three blocks. So let me show you this parkour quickly. Basically, a simple jump to there, and then a slightly trickier jump to here. A little sort of kind of knee around the corner, and finally that. But remember, they're going to be on half a heart and they might still be poisoned if they're silly enough to try it while poisoned. So if they fall, they're dead pretty much. But if they somehow survive, which I think you shouldn't be able to on half a heart, as I just demonstrated falling off that ladder there, you can head up here and you'll get through to the next section. And this next section is to test their accuracy with a dropper. So let me go get my big old shovel and we'll clear this out. By the way, this is going to be the shape of the house here. You can see I'm going to have like a wall there, then go around. It's going to have a little front section sticking out here. A decent size, but not huge. Okay, this one took a while to get dug out, but you can see here we've got your standard dropper. Now, there's actually really only one way to do this. Oops, you got to be careful not to fall straight away. And that is to get from here and to go... Oh, I missed like that. So you've got to be pretty accurate. I can do it pretty easily here, though. There you go. And you're going to hop out and head through a door here. Also, I forgot to mention, remember, when they're doing this drop head, they're on half a heart because they've not brought in any food, etc. And they've still got half a heart from the poison. So all these drops here, that'd kill you. That wouldn't. That wouldn't. But that would, etc. You can't just jump down. 
they'll die. And that's why this next section is also going to be very, very tricky. But there's a reason it's so hard. Jeremyism means the world to me. Okay, so once you finish the dropper, you're gonna come to this room where it's gonna tell you to battle. That's right, your way through to the final room, which is just over there. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a shield and a sword out of here. That's all, a shield and a sword, nothing else. And then you come into here where there's gonna be four skeletons, so you're probably gonna be pretty scared. In fact, I might make it three skeletons as I feel like four is pretty mean. Let me just cover this one up. Yeah, that's probably a bit fairer, but either way, you're gonna have to kill the skeletons, then grab the lever out of one of these boxes here. And I'm gonna fill these boxes with other stuff to confuse you, like that. But the lever's gonna be on this one here. Then you place the lever and you get through to this room where it says congratulations and etc. etc. And you can teleport out with the waystone. So now I'm gonna go through and add on all the signs, etc. Get the skeletons set up, all that good stuff. When I come back, everything should be almost ready to go. Of course, it still looks like this from the outside, so we're gonna have to fix that. All right, so it's all done. Don't know what that creeper's doing there, but please don't blow up, thank goodness. So now all we have to do is design and cover this place with a building, which is easier said than done. Especially when there's blooming creepers walking around. Do you know what? Let's cut to the time lapse and let's get building this thing right here. So instead of a house design, I went through a sort of like old factory weird sort of barn design. I thought it ended up looking quite cool. I wanted to make it nice and dark. So I used these black textures here, slightly different in texture, but both quite dark in color. And I added on these chimneys as well, which I thought looked quite nice. And once I had the shape down, all I had to do was add on a little bit of detail, which didn't take too long at all. And we're gonna add on some different little bits with images right now to make it look a bit nicer. So it is finally done. And we also bone milled and added in some black flowers on this lead up here as well. But you head up to Jeremy's House of Pain. And we've got all the buildings sorted now. I kind of just, you know, ignored the back part of this building. It's kind of like a big factory warehouse sort of thing. You know how you have those fun houses which are in like old factories and weird buildings? This is what this is basically, except not fun. And so we've got the rules up here and everything should be set up now. Got all the signs in and stuff, all the potions in. I'm not gonna head in there because it will poison me, the parkour, etc. So people can now come along and try and win Jeremyism, but I'm hoping this actually kills some people. That'd be that'd be really nice. I hope no one actually completes it, to be honest with you. I don't want to lose Jeremy's and look, it's rad. Jeremyism is rad. But unfortunately, guys, that is all we got time for for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you're new. And I shall see you another time. Goodbye.